so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at! Yeah, today we're at the Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this aquarium has a lot of cute animals. Yeah, do you like animals? Yeah, I love animals too. And today you and I can learn about some animals. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and look in here. Whoa, looks like we have some turtles. Oh, hello turtle. Look at it. Whoa, oh, come over here. See this one? Yeah, it's pretty big. Actually, they're gonna get way bigger. Yeah, and these are actually soft shell turtles. You know how most of the time, turtles, their shells are really, really hard? Yeah, these, their shells are soft. Interesting. Did you see how long its neck was? Whoa, whoa, check it out. A ball python. Whoa, it's so colorful. Yeah, it looks like the color yellow. Yeah, like the sun. Whoa, look at him just hanging out on that log. Hello. <laughs> and did you see its eyes? Yeah, they look reddish. Wow, super cool. <laughs> Snakes are awesome. <laughs> whoa, and look down here. Whoa, this is a way bigger snake. Whoa, I know what kind of snake this is. This is a Colombian red-tailed boa. Whoa, look at him just hanging out on the soil. Yeah, it kind of looks like the soil color. Yeah, brown and dark brown and black and tan. He does blend in pretty well. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> oh, there's someone right here. Oh, hey! Hi. Who are you? I'm Penny. Oh. Who are you? Oh, I'm Blippi. It's nice to meet you, <laughs> Nice Blippi. to meet you. Do you work here? I do work here. Really? What do you do? I'm the lead reptile handler here. Wow, that's really cool. I really like reptiles. Me oh, too. There's one right here. Wow. This is my friend Sheila. Oh, really? Sheila? Yeah. Whoa, what kind of reptile is she? Sheila is a bearded dragon. Ooh, a bearded dragon? Yeah, I've seen one of those before. Have you ever pet a bearded dragon before? Uh, I don't know. Can I pet it? <gasps> yes, Sheila's oh. super friendly. Okay. All right. Hey, Sheila. Oh. All right. So this is my friend, Sheila. Okay. Here we go, just like this? <gasps> yep, just like that. Nice and gentle. Wow. Oh, kind of pokey, but not really. I mean, kind of soft, though. Right? Oh. So her scales are kind of pokey, kind of soft. Uh -huh. They're made of the same stuff that makes your fingernails, called keratin. Keratin. Cool. Whoa. Look at her. Whoa. So you'll notice she has this really cute big beard. That's where she gets her name. Oh, bearded dragon. <laughs> that makes sense. And what does she eat? She's an omnivore. So that means she eats a lot of different things. She eats fruits, vegetables, and insects. Oh, wow, cool. And where do they come from? She comes from Australia. Wow, cool. <laughs> wow, what a really cool animal. Well, when was the last time she ate? Ooh, I don't know. She might be hungry. Do you want to try to offer her a snack? Oh, I would love to. Hopefully All right. she's hungry. Follow me. <laughs> All right. All right. Here you go, Sheila. Thank Whoa. you. All right. Whoa, I'm so curious to see if she's hungry. Wow, okay. what do we have? So today we're going to be feeding Sheila some mealworms. Whoa, check it out. Some mealworms. <laughs> Those look yummy. If you are Sheila. <laughs> All right, let's see if she's hungry. All right, I'm oh. going to give them to you. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, so just put all three right in front of her? You can put all three, or you can put them in a line, and she will chase after them. There we go. Here you go, mealworm. There the we go. The wigglier, the better. All right, let's see if she's hungry. <laughs> are you hungry, Sheila? Whoa! So how old is Sheila? Sheila is four. Whoa. And she's really good at sitting still. Well, yeah. I mean, she hasn't moved one bit for a little bit. She's just looking around the environment. Yeah, maybe she, she'll she see the mealworm soon. Whoa, well, we'll cool. see. Whoa, what else is cool about Sheila? So, Sheila loves these bugs. Usually, if we can get her to run for them, that would be wonderful. Yeah. She has a big, fat sticky tongue that she likes to use to eat those bugs. Is it long or short? It's not very long. It's okay. really short and stubby. It kind of really stays big. in her mouth. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> Maybe she's not hungry. Maybe not. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. You get food and you're not hungry, huh? Yeah, exactly. And then what are her claws for? Her claws she uses for digging. Oh, digging? Yeah. Oh, what's she digging for? So she would use her claws to dig a burrow for her to live in or for her to lay her eggs. Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for letting us try to feed Sheila. We tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right, I have another friend that I'd like to show you. Really? I'm gonna put Sheila away first though, so you have fun exploring, okay, Blippi? All right, I'll be back in a bit. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, it's a giant spider. Whoa. This is my friend Raj, she's oh. a tarantula. Oh, hey Raj. Whoa, and this is a tarantula. What kind of tarantula? She is a rose hair tarantula. Rose hair, and where's she from? So she's from South America, from Chile. Oh, cool. She is very big. I'm so used to spiders that are really small. She is a lot bigger than house spiders, but she also moves a lot slower, you notice? Yeah, she is moving slower, but she still has eight legs, right? She does, she has eight legs, two spinnerets, Ooh. and then her two helping hands up front. Oh, cool. And does she have really sticky feet? She doesn't, she actually oh. doesn't even have feet. They're called paws. Oh, paws, yeah. just like kitties and dogs. Whoa. And her paws are not sticky, okay. so spiders can walk upside down, but it's because of two special hooks that they have on each foot or paw. Oh, like that this? helps them to hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I'm a spider. Whoa, and does she spin a web? She does. So you'll notice she's using her hooks to hold on right now while I tip her. Oh. Her spinnerets that she uses to spin webs are on the back. Those oh. two little black appendages that look kind of like fingers. Uh huh. Whoa, and what does she eat? She eats bugs. Bugs? So Lots she likes of bugs. crickets and cockroaches. Whoa. Wow, she is so <laughs> cool. And how old is she? Raj is eight years old. Eight? She's an adult female. Wow, that is really old. <laughs> That's not as old as they get though. Believe it or not, they live to be over 20 years old. Wow, that is old. Whoa. Yeah. Well, that is really cool. And this <laughs> is a really cool spider. Oh, thank you so much for showing me, Raj. And thanks for being so kind to my friend. Yeah. See you later, Raj. <laughs> I'm gonna keep exploring. All right, have fun. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A crested gecko. Whoa, they are so cool. And look, yeah, it's just stuck to the side of the glass, just hanging out. Hey, wait a second. A crested gecko. Yeah, that's Mika's favorite reptile. So cool. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, cool, look, a snake. Oh. He's actually not a snake. He's a legless lizard. Really? This yeah. isn't a snake? No, he kind of looks like a snake, huh? Yeah, he does. He doesn't even have legs. No, oh, no legs. That's why they call it a legless lizard. Whoa, what's He's, his name? His name is Tom Riddle. Oh, hello, Tom Riddle. <laughs> I'm so, Flippy. He has a couple features that separate him from snakes. Oh, what are they? So the first one is that he has eyelids. He can blink like you and I. Yeah. Snakes don't have eyelids, they yeah. don't blink. Nope, they don't have eyelids. He has these little holes behind his head. Those are actually his ears. Oh. Snakes like don't have those either. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. What about that line on the bottom? He has that line down his body because his bones are really rigid and he needs it to be able to breathe and swallow his food. Oh, so that expands? Yeah, because he's not as flexible as a snake. Okay, wow. And then is this his whole body like a snake? So Tom Riddle, being a lizard, his body actually ends right here. Oh yeah. Two thirds of his body are just tail. Whoa, that's crazy, but a snake, their body goes all the way, almost to the very end, right? Yep, that's right, it does. Wow, cool. And what does Tom Riddle like to eat? Tom Riddle likes to eat insects, and he'll even eat baby animals. Really? Yeah, like small mice and things like that, but mostly okay. he loves worms and snails. Oh, okay. Where could you find Tom Riddle in the wild? In the wild, you could find him in South and Central Europe. So he'd be in and around Spain and Portugal and parts of Northern Italy. Okay, wow. He's such a cool animal. May I touch him? You definitely can. Okay, whoa. He definitely kind of feels like a snake. <laughs> yeah, he does. But his scales are a little more hard and they lay over each other like armor. Not quite as flexible as a snake's scales. Wow, he's 
really smooth. Very smooth and glassy, huh? Yeah. So that's that's another name for this guy, is a glass lizard. Whoa! Tom Riddle is so cool! Thank you so much for letting me meet another one of your friends. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Whoa! Oh, hello! Check it out! It looks like a chameleon! He is a chameleon! This is my friend Tarzan, and he's a panther chameleon. Oh, hey, Tarzan! Whoa, panther chameleon? Whoa, and he's very bright green. Does he change colors? He is bright green right now. He does change colors. Wow. So chameleons change colors to communicate with each other. Oh, that's really cool. So they change colors to let others say chameleons know something? Yes, or other animals, like a big scary predator. They may turn black and red to say, I'm scary, don't mess with me. Oh, cool. Ooh, and he loves to crawl, huh? It looks like he grabs onto you with his weird looking hands. He does. Do you want to see what that feels like? Sure. All right, he's okay. very delicate, so okay. be careful. Okay. Oh, hey, Tarzan. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check it out. I'm holding a chameleon. Whoa. So as he's walking, you'll notice on his feet, he has five toes, just like we do. Yeah. But they're split, three and two. Okay. That's yeah. how he holds on to your fingers and to the vines in the canopy. Whoa, that's really cool. It looks like his eyes are pointing different directions. They do, yeah. So that's a special kind of vision called stereoscopic vision. And that means he has two independent visual fields. Whoa, so he could see that way and that way all at the same time? All at the same time. Whoa, cool. Look at his tail, it looks all curly. Why is that? His tail is super curly and it has another special name. It's called a prehensile tail. Whoa. He uses it like a safety line for holding on. Okay, whoa, so he can like wrap it around a tree branch and hold on? Exactly, and that comes in handy when he's trying to eat and he has to use a secret weapon in order to catch his bugs. Really? Okay, so he loves to eat bugs? He does. What's the secret weapon? His secret weapon is a long, sticky tongue. Oh, cool. Do you think he's hungry? He might be. Let's find out. All right, Tarzan. Libby, did you hungry. know that a chameleon's tongue is as long as its body? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's so really his long. His tongue is really long. Whoa. All right, let's see if he's hungry. Let's see, Tarzan is a little older, so his eyes are not as good as they used to be. Okay. So once he sees the bug, we'll see if we can get him to take it. Yeah. Whoa, that was awesome. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it is a long sticky tongue. Super long and sticky. Wow, was that yummy, Tarzan? Wow, yeah, that was so cool. And speaking of cool, all of your animal friends are so cool. Thank you so much for letting me meet them. Thank you for coming to say hi today and helping me feed some of the animals. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Here you go. All right, I will take back. my buddy. All right, see you later, Tarzan. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was fun. Thank you so much for coming to visit us, Lippy. Yeah, no problem. See you see later. See you later. <laughs> Wow, this has been so much fun. I sure do love animals. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, look up there! Yeah, it looks like a green iguana. Wow, green iguanas are so cool. Yeah, they're the color green. <laughs> Ooh, and look, doesn't it look really long? Yeah, this one isn't even full-sized yet. Yeah, when they get full-sized, they are up to seven feet long. Whoa, that's over two meters long. Basically, if I was to lay down next to a full-size green iguana, they would be longer than me. Whoa, that is so cool. Ooh, and this one's name is Azul. Huh, that's interesting. That means blue in Spanish. <laughs> they could have named him Verde because that means green in Spanish. Well, still, Azul is a cool name. See you later, Azul. Wow, did you have fun today? Yeah, learning about all these reptiles. Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. 
me, Libby. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <sighs> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. <gasps> and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> <gasps> Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding in the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Oh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can we sit inside? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah, so keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo! <laughs> we're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Special safari gear? Whoa! Safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> Look, we have binoculars for seeing really far away. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Do you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> Oh, they are giraffes, <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm, do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Whoa. Ooh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's going to keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa! <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Well, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah. 
They have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well, and eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh. <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh. Hello, giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa. And look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow, Ooh, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these oryx run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they <laughs> need to, to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of oryx. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello! <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking! <laughs> Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? You're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulpy. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh, 
Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, they sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah, they're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs, <laughs> it helps with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, they have dirt, dust on their back, kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey, do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour. <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah. Let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. So excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? This is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold? <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got sack for that day. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello. Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. Huh. What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh yeah, yeah. python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Oh, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hello. 
Oh, I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have a really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a, a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow. Hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> What's a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> We saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? Yo, one of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow, I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh. oh, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa. Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow! I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So beautiful. Well, right now we want to wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal. <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> Get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? Oh, they see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. Well. We better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bopi. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal. I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. 
Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Not why, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. was amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lander falcon, both found in Africa, and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big! <laughs> come on! Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa! Her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm. Do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah. Just like the snake. Yeah. Look. Hmm. This little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime. Help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one we'll share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big. <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, uh, West African? Whoa, wait, can you see that one? <laughs> oh time? yeah, East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa. And what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers. So they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying. She's got feathers to keep her warm. She's even got feathers to attract the mate. But those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals. And she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department. And she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> 
Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Blippi. I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> it feels like we're in the jungle. Woo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa, you see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look, he's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food, and back teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Boo! It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. Woohoo! Boo! -hoo. Boo. <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa, look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. We're gonna find him, I just know it. <laughs> hey, look at who I have here. This is B, <laughs> and B is my friend. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Gruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa. <laughs> look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet, and they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet and a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the Gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa, <laughs> you want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want? Some lettuce? <gasps> mm, took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. Hop, hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah, and they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> hey, whoa, look 
you what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies. <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see. They want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Hey. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger, and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa! That's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't wanna get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa. They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little Joey's hmm, baby kangaroos like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa, and look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, he's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. We made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> I
I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle. And they live in the snow. <laughs> Good job! A penguin! <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> we're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals. And that way they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals, I see some right down here. It is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> and if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi, welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals, but I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh my, conservation is so important. <laughs> It's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Whoa, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. Whoa, hello, Peanut. That is an amazing beaver. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm going to pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa, what does that feel like? It's so soft. <laughs> yeah. Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet. Good, because she's a water animal. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast, and she's very strong, and those teeth are used to gnaw on wood, <laughs> chew the bits. Whoa, <laughs> and now let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut. <laughs> mm. I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long Ooh. as it's not a oh. peanut, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot <laughs> and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. Hello? She uses those hands. <laughs> Whoa. And her nose is so big. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa, her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Yeah. Where's my, See where's my ferret? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut 
has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> Look at her. Got a really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. Swimming, huh, <laughs> that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail helps her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> thanks, Peanut. Well. You gotta get back to the water, so I'll see you soon. <laughs> bye bye Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're gonna see is gonna be. <laughs> it's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. Hi. What kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow nate Amazon. He gets the name yellow nate because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird. He likes green and yellow. Is that funny? Is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears, so he's not actually talking, but hmm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Whoa. What else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best, since he lives here at the zoo. Do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger, tiger than me. <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream. <laughs> he loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? Yeah, it's important to wing up and to warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing. And I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa! You want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancer. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're going to go with this. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It that is a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Everybody have a goodbye. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hmm. It's really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm. But I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa. <laughs> an aardvark? Whoa! Look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. Whoa, Zola has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup. That's mine. There you go. Wow. And Zola has really big ears, too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes. But you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species, and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa. Did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah. 
That means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty silly. Hey, look. It looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's always hungry for these termites, and we're gonna see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big and looks really strong. Whoa. Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello. <laughs> Hey there, Zola. <laughs> Whoa! Looks like she's liking to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. <laughs> it kind of feels like mm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name Aardvark, because Aardvark means dirt pig. Oh, oh. <laughs> dirt pig, Aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow, and her hands. Are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. Oh, you are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> wow. Hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa. Hey, Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Very nice. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. All these hairs, are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the Aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> Just... mm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. She's our two-toed sloth. Can Hello, you, Zena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, I they're called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. Wow. She sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow, can you feel her? her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat, here's one of your favorites. So, uh, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa! It's like it's opposite day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey, sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use? when an animal is awake at night? <laughs> yeah. That means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal. <laughs> and really cute inside. That's right, and slow. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Zena is so slow. She uh. is. <laughs> and showing us her, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. <laughs> wow, look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah, they look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh, 
I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> Indeed, and she loves them all. Mm. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly bye, walking away from Zena. <laughs> yeah. I think Zena is getting a little sleepy. She had a lot of snacks too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah, we want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 so silly. <laughs> I had so much fun seeing all different kinds of animals with you. So many different kinds here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Whippy!